Hey Rosettes, this is Yelly Rose and welcome back to my channel. Today is pretty much a highly requested video after I did the story time about my mom catching the boy in my closet, which I will leave the link down below in the description box. I did mention how I wanted to do a story time about the times I went to jail and everybody was asking me to like do it tonight do it tonight but i had so many videos planned but i did bump this up because i was going to post this later on in the month so here you go make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos from me and go ahead and follow me on snapchat instagram facebook and twitter they are all at yanni rose and let's just go ahead and get into the video okay so during my life, I'm only 22, I have been to jail twice, but it wasn't on some like <laughs> cray cray stuff. It was literally like the dumbest st things every time. Okay, so the first time I went to jail, this is what happened. I was on my way from Alabama to Georgia to do makeup because if you watch my channel you know that I was going to Jacksonville State University which is in Alabama however all my makeup clients were in Georgia so I would drive to Georgia every time I had to do makeup so knowing me I'm always late so I was kind of rushing so I was speeding so I'm speeding in my little red car and the cop came <laughs> so I got pulled over for speeding and you know I'm like okay let me let me just give them my driver's license let me just be calm so I can go ahead and get to do these girls makeup so the cop must have came back and was like honey boo boo child like your license are suspended so I'm gonna have to take you to jail so I'm like what do you mean my license are suspended like no boo boo my license aren't suspended you not taking me to jail like I don't know what you're talking about like we need to get this handled cause uh, then I was looking all cute that day makeup did everything I'm like no I'm not gonna go to jail like no I'm gonna need you to call up whoever and like see what's going on so I'm like I'm like how I um he said something about a ticket so I'm like I paid that ticket. I know I paid that ticket. I have the proof right here in my phone. Like, I have the proof. So, here, look. So, I'm thinking that was enough, <laughs> enough justification for him to know that I paid that ticket. So, he's like, well, I still have to take you to I still have to take you to jail and you'll figure out that later. So, I'm like, oh my god. Like, are you serious? So, he was like, well, do you have anybody you could call to come get your car? So, I'm like, no. <laughs> why I said no I don't know like I was just thinking that was an easy way out I don't, I don't know like honestly I just don't know <laughs> so they left my car there so it got totaled when I clearly could have called someone and saw like I didn't even try to call anybody I just didn't want nobody to know so I get so they took me to the jail or whatever so, you know, I called my mom, I called Travis, and I called my sister or whatever. But, like, nobody was trying to get me up out of there. Like, your call count. that's when you find out who your real friends are and, like, who got your back when you go to jail, okay? So, I think my bill was, like, set really low because it was my first time going. And it was only, like, 2000 You got to, you know, you got to pay, like, 10%. So, I only had to pay, like, 250 or whatever. So luckily since it was my first time my sister called the bellsman and they let me get out on payment so they just let me out without anybody having to like pay up front and I paid on payments but all of that because the FN DMV effed up like when I went to court about me going to jail the lady had took the suspended license thingy off my record because I had proof that I paid the ticket and they literally suspended my license after the ticket was paid so no boo boo like I just feel like they should I should have sued that's what I should have did I should have just sued because they just humiliated me child even though it's only in there for four hours and it was like all these men looking at me saying ooh what's your name and I was like uh uh see I'm too cute for this just too cute for this so anyways that was was the first time the second time oh my god the second time was the worst okay 
you'll see but by the end of this video I just have a problem with speeding so the second time you know I'm just no it was my older sister's baby shower so we going home so I'm thinking I'm just like I don't you know what I wasn't thinking so I'm speeding I'm like oh my god like uh, not again so they pull me over or whatever so I give them my license blah 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 and they must have said you have a warrant out for your arrest I'm like bitch what bitch who a warrant what, what do you mean like what have I done now so I'm like a warrant from where then they say a different county from what I was in. So I'm like, how is that possible? I'm like, is my license still spinning? Like, I mean, what's going on? No, your license is valid. You just have a warrant out. I'm like, why the fuck do I have a warrant out for something that has, one, been paid off. Two, my license aren't suspended. Three, like, no one has notified me. Like, wh where's this warrant? Why do I have a warrant? So they call, because I was like, look, I, I'm y'all not y'all not finna arrest me. Like, y'all need to figure out what's going on. So they call, like, the other county or whatever. And they were like, no, you still have a warrant, blah, blah, blah. We gotta take you into custody. I'm like, oh, are you serious? So I had to call my sister to come get my car because I didn't want them to total that that time. So that time I went, since I was in another county, I went to jail. And I had to spend the night. I had to fucking spend the night. I was so mad because what what happens when you don't get arrested in the county where you have the warrant? They have to take you to that other county. So I literally I had to spend the night, and then they were all telling me, "Oh, it's the weekend, so you're probably not gonna leave until Monday." I went in on a Friday. I'm like, "Oh no, ma'am! Like y'all need to figure it out because I need to get up out of here." So look, see, looking cute again, coming from the baby shower, just snatched. So I'm like, oh my god, like you gotta be kidding me. So I spent the night, I had to like spend the night, and I had to like dress out. So I had to like take a shower, and then I had just got my nipples pierced. I had to take them out, and like they closed up. All, all I was like all around these ratchets, like they all hoods. I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna wait in here till I to my court day or whatever. Or I'm just gonna call my baby daddy to get me up out of here. And I'm just, I'm just sitting there like. Then this old lady in there, she was mad. She was, you not sad. You not going You not crying. You not mad. Like, no, I'm ready to get the fuck up out of here. Like, what am I crying for? Like, I'm ready to go. Like, I'm ready to go. So they like assigned. I was lit, like, we were literally in a room, like in holding for like hours, like hours. And then they finally, they finally like assigned us to a cell and like I was like go go to sleep like whatever happens when I wake up like whatever so luckily I wake up to a phone call that said I was going to be transported to the next county so I'm like what turn up about to get out about to get out turn up turn up turn up so that day I went to the next county so when I got there the people there at that jail they were a little more nicer so they were just like you know call and see you know if someone's gonna bail you out and like what's going on because I was like talking to my sisters the whole time so I'm still in there like waiting waiting so we find out so because like you can sit in the um well there you don't have to sit in like a cell it's like kind of like a lobby area so I was just sitting there and I just kept calling my sister back and back because it's like a long like if you ever been in jail it's like the longest process like you have to do so much to get up out of there like you have to like call the bondsman then wait for your papers to be released and like all this jip jap like it's just too much so I'm like time is going by like hours is going by at this time I'm like no I don't want to dress out like I just did not want to get up out of my like that is the most humiliating thing about going to jail is like having to take off your clothes in front of everybody like shower in front of like no boo boo no it's not cute so I was like I kept telling my sister I'm like okay what are y'all gonna do like please like figure it out because like by a certain time they just go ahead and like make you dress out and like assign you to a cell so I was like like, man so the lady like look so hours go past and we found out that like I had a cash bond like if y'all go to like if y'all ever went to jail a cash bond means 
that you have to pay like you basically have to pay the court you have to pay for like court fees like you you don't even go through the bondsman you literally have to pay hard cash like and you cannot get out if you don't pay cash it's not no like going to the bondsman like talking about a price or being on payments like no you have to pay the exact amount to get up out of there and i was like oh my god like i was so mad so luckily i have an amazing sister <laughs> that paid for me to get out but it was like the like most traumatizing experience so like still to this day like i swear like so many cars get mad at me because like i'm always driving the speed limit like i do not speed or anything like i just do not play so <laughs> <laughs> those are the times I went to jail and I do just want to put it out there ladies like we are too cute to be going to jail like don't fight with your man don't fight with no females don't be speeding don't do anything that could cause you to go to jail because it's not cute like you don't want to dress out in front of people and the girls looking at you and people crying and people like no Mm -mm. especially you like me like I don't like to consider myself bougie but like I feel like I carry myself really well and just certain things I just don't tolerate so sitting in there with like listen to all them ratchets like I just felt like I was just out of my element and they just looking at me like I'm just too good yes I'm too good to be in here yep uh-huh yep I'm too good like I ain't got time I'm ready to go so <laughs> I just had an attitude the whole time because it was just like pointless like people really go to jail like off some like little bitty dumb stuff like it's crazy so like especially nowadays like be careful like just try to live your life on a clean slate you know what i'm saying because it's crazy out here like these cops do not play like even now like i'm told i tell traps all the time like i'm scared to go to jail like now even though this happened like a year ago like uh, ugh, i'm just it's just not cute <laughs> But if you guys want to hear any more story times, let me know. Give me some ideas about some topics because, like, a lot of stuff has happened in my life, but it takes for someone to kind of, like, bring it up for me to remember. So just let me know if you have any ideas about any story times, and I will see if I have a story that's relevant to it because I'm not going to just be making up random stories that ain't happened to me because... I'm just not a good liar, one, and two, like, who does that? I know people do that, but that's just pointless as, you know what, as H-E double hockey sticks. <laughs> so, I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you check out all the videos from Beginner's Week and the vlog for me and Travis moving in. And ladies, if you ever have any video requests, always let me know down in the comment section below and thumbs up this video if you dolls want me to do more story time videos i love you dolls and i will see you in my next video